Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. It's early in the morning. We are actually in Idaho, about an hour and a half away from Yellowstone. Been wanting to go to Yellowstone since I was a kid. Cannot wait for today. It's gonna to be an absolutely amazing day and I think you guys should have an amazing day too. What do you say we push our problems aside, drive the next hour, hour and a half, get to Yellowstone and see some amazing nature. Guess what, boys? What's up, bud? What's up? We're by Yellowstone! Woo! Dude, I can't believe it. It's so beautiful, man. This is insane. Yeah. I tell you what, it is so gorgeous out here. We're just uh, about a half an hour away from Yellowstone, a childhood dream come true. You know, it's kind of an irony because we started this trip and we were talking about the RV being the rolling turd, like the movie Vacation, right? And with Vacation, they were going to Wally World and they traveled across country to get to Wally World and it was closed. And here we are at Yellowstone National Park and it is closed. Um, again, you know, I'm not gonna lie, I was like five or six years old when I saw my first documentary on Old Faithful and Yellowstone and it's been a dream to be here. I mean, legitimately a dream to be here. And we got here and it is closed. And we can't go in, we can't see Old Faithful, we can't see the hot springs, we can't see any of this. But there are a few other places around here that are supposed to be really beautiful. And there's a chance that the north entrance, there's a little tiny loop that might be open, they said. I'm not sure if it is, where we can maybe see Mammoth Spring, which would be pretty dope. Nevertheless, we're gonna go to two or three other places around the park that are gonna be just as beautiful. We're gonna make the best of it. Uh, but you know what? In a way, as much as it stinks that I'm not going to see Yellowstone now, it gives me a reason to come back, number one. And number two, it's going to make for a great story when I can tell people that I traveled across country. We went hundreds of miles out of our way to come to Yellowstone. And this is as close as I've got right here. This sign. Let's go ahead and just make the best of it, guys. You gotta make uh, lemon. You gotta make lemonade. What is it? What's it saying? When you when you get lemon, when the world serves you lemons, you gotta make lemonade or something like that. I think so. I mean, that sounds yeah. good. Yeah. Life, yeah. Life yeah. Lemons, yeah. Lemonade. You know, when life's give you lemon, you gotta make lemonade. So let's just go have a good time. It is absolutely gorgeous out here. We're literally just driving down the road, uh, trying to find some cool stuff, and, and Noah spotted an animal over here. We don't know if it's a moose or an elk or what it is over here, so we're gonna try to see if we can't get up in it and see it. It's still absolutely beautiful. We may not be in Yellowstone, but we're in the Yellowstone area, right? So it's still in the caldero, you know? It's in the volcano, and it's absolutely incredible. Look at this right here. Holy moly. So, okay, let's see if we can find them. We just saw our first wild moose. I've never seen that before. Crazy. Look at him, he's just right there chilling. It's a young boy. It's a young boy. That is freaking awesome. See, even when things seem like they're going bad, something amazing happens. Majestic is this, guys. It's crazy to think that just a few days ago we were in Arizona, it was 88 degrees. Now it's like Christmas out here, but this is beautiful. We're actually at a little state park outside of Yellowstone right now. Obviously just saw the moose. We're just gonna hit a bunch of little state parks. There's several pretty cool places that uh, won't be quite as cool, but uh, hey, hey, we're gonna make the best of it. And we just called and there's a chance we might be able to get into the top end of Yellowstone. So we're gonna drive. It's still a long way, probably another three hours from now stopping a handful of places, but uh, just trying to enjoy this. I tell you what, I'm not much of a winter guy or a cold weather guy, but man, this is freaking gorgeous, man. And I, I'm just happy to be here. And some days you just gotta take it all in and say, we're pretty blessed to be able to see this stuff, aren't we? Wow.
we actually have two moose in the middle of the water. It looks like two females here, but the one female is huge and she's definitely looking at us. She knows we're here. She's kind of protecting her calf right now. So we're gonna get as close as we can without disturbing them too much. But that is awesome. <laughs> what a day. So we're actually at the edge of Yellowstone right now, just kind of skirting. We are in the park, but it's not quite really in deep, right? So we're in a little bit of a dilemma here because the only way to get into the park is the north entrance, which only goes into the kind of northeastern part of the park. We can't get to Old Faithful or any of the springs or any of that type of stuff. But the problem is, is that it's about a three hour drive out of our way to get to the north entrance and we'll get there at probably sunset, maybe even a little after dark. So we won't be able to see the park, so now we're trying to decide, do we wanna go three hours out of our way, maybe camp in the park, even though we can't see it, we can wake up in the morning because we have to get in the road early in the morning to get to Billings, Montana. Uh, so we're in a dilemma not right now. We don't know if we wanna make that trip out there. Maybe it'll be amazing and maybe it'll be worth a trip. Maybe it'll be a complete waste of time and make tomorrow harder. I'm not sure what to do. So we're just stopping off, looking at the beauty of this place and trying to kind of brainstorm at what we think we should actually do. I wish there was real time comments right now so you guys could give me advice. Do we go on, take the three hours out of the way and just take the chance and maybe it'll be amazing? Or do we just head on to Montana and just call the Yellowstone experience uh, not quite what we hoped it to be, but wow, it's a trip. We've definitely seen some cool things with the moose and the sceneries has been absolutely amazing. All that stuff is incredible, don't get me wrong. Definitely worth it, absolutely incredible. But at the same time, definitely a little bit disappointed that we didn't get a chance to see the Old Faithful and all the things that I had seen since I was a kid, this dream of seeing. Uh, and this today was supposed to be fulfilling that dream, but nevertheless, we still had an amazing day and uh, we're gonna talk about it and I'll kind of update you you guys on what we decide to do. So as it turns out, there's just no way we're gonna make it back to the other entrance of Yellowstone, not knowing even where we'd stay. So we kind of just found a spot here that we can post up and enjoy nature until the sun sets. Just Seeing this absolutely beautiful place right here, just down by the river and just absolutely incredible. And the fact is guys, we've been on a long adventure and pretty much everything has worked out till this point. When you go on a 12 or 13 day trip, it's hard for everything to work out. Every plan you make has to go perfectly. Who would have thought that Yellowstone would have been closed? I mean, certainly not me. There's no doubt about that. But the uh, fact is, is that right over here on this side is the Yellowstone National Park. And we've been able to kind of skirt in and out of it down this road, absolutely beautiful. This is breathtaking. I can think of no better way to end this day than to just sit here until the sun sets and see the beauty of it. You know what I mean? It's absolutely incredible. Again, a little disappointed that we didn't get to see some of those childhood things that I was so excited about, but that gives me another chance to come back and actually witness it. So as for now, let's just enjoy this beauty and live what life ended up giving us. So uh, first off, barefoot, I'm not going, I'm not going yeah. barefoot? Maybe, well I'm gonna watch him do it a couple times, see how it is. No way, I'm not going barefoot, I'm gonna do it. Oh, whoa. Oh. It's there. It's there, boy. It's there, he's so. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so now he's going all the way. That's rule number one of survival skills is that if take you're in the winter, no, you don't your take you off your jacket. Your body wants you to, but you don't do it. Right, yep. Keep that no, shit on. Yep. My take your shoes and socks off, take your shirt off. Yeah.
there like directly at like the other end. Yeah, and then keep your chest like kicked like super proud, almost like you're doing a bench press. And then when you stand, like keep, <laughs> yeah, keep it straight up and then just keep focused on that spot and you'll be able to like. <laughs> <laughs> that is hard. It is hard. I'm gonna try one more it's time. Super, it's super complicated. I might be the first person to ever do it with Tim's though. Oh, so you're not wrong, bro. At least give it one try just to have the Guinness World Record. But then after that, I'm, I think I might. Go barefoot? I don't know, man. It's cold. One man. One line. <laughs> oh, two feet. I literally can't even get one step. There's no way. I don't think, I'm, I don't think this sport's for me. <laughs> but let me, I can bounce on it. Watch, I can bounce on it. Oh, here comes the tree. Let's get the other tree. Get, get that tree apparatus going, brother. I learned this back in Nam. Dude, he's got the belly press. He did a good job. Oh! Oh! He's crazy. He's crazy, bro. Crazy. Get him back on the loop. <laughs> well, you know, the day hasn't worked out exactly perfectly, but you know, I think it's about time to go in the river. Let me set the stage really quick. It's about 19 degrees outside. The water is freezing cold, but what possibly can go wrong? So I think, as a matter of fact, I'm even having a hard time talking because my mouth is so frozen up. We've been out here for about an hour messing around, so we're gonna go in this water. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. thought of this idea. Who was whose idea was this? You. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Let's go. You ready? Uh, all right. Let's go. Oh my gosh, it is cold out here. <laughs> We haven't heard back from the doctors yet. Dude, the there's no, there's no signal out here. Yeah, I like to think of you as a smart guy. What do you think? Will we be okay? Yeah, for for a few minutes. You can't stay, or for probably less than a minute, but you can't stay in there long. Because okay. then you'll get hypothermia. But as long as you're go in like a cold tub, it really is a cold tub. I'm sure. What do you think I'm it is? Ready. I don't know, but let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on, go. You're keeping your beanie. Yeah. Go Noah, come on. It, it, be careful, be careful. It's not that bad? Oh. Noah still hasn't even got in yet, bro. What are you doing? You, you think I'm not trying? <laughs> Oh my god, come in! Oh my gosh, get in there! Okay, I gotta get out! 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 Oh my gosh! Alright, 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 alright. I don't think I can make it any further. The ice is sticking my feet. Okay. And I think that's the way the this vlog is gonna end. Hope you enjoyed this video. It is absolutely so cold. If you like it, do me a favor. Hit this playlist over here for me. You can subscribe right up here to my podcast channel. We'll talk about this experience right over here. Hope you're subscribed to this vlog channel. Turn your post notifications on. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Be kind to yourself. And I promise I'll see you guys tomorrow. Awesome.